led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. The traitor Dong Zhuo has been slain. This should bring peace to the land for the time being. You fought well, Sun Jian. I have heard all about the courage you showed on the battlefield. Yes, my lord. But who would have thought Lu Bu would turn on Dong Zhuo? It was actually somewhat disappointing for me. I had planned to be the one to slay Dong Zhuo myself. But Sun Jian, I have summoned you here not to talk about the past, but the future. Dong Zhuo has fallen, and the coalition army has disbanded. But I sense disquiet and unease from all the regional warlords as they return to their homes. If we do nothing about this, it will lead to the appearance of others like Dong Zhuo, who will use the emperor and the land for their own gain. Yuan Shu, in particular, appears to harbor great resentment toward me. If, on the off chance, it should come to pass that he and I were to go to war against one another, you must side with me. I promise to treat you well. Master Sun Jian, what did you and Chao say? That he would be counting on our support going forward. In other words, he wishes for us to serve as his vassals. You don't say. What is you and Chao thinking with such a request? Surely that he expects trouble ahead. With Dong Zhuo's fall, warlords around the land know that the land can be seized by force. Yuan Chao is looking to leverage our considerable strength. I see. I suppose it's just as bad to stick out too much at times. But, Father, you're not really planning to serve Yuan Chao, are you? No, I declined his offer. There is little reason or benefit for us to get involved in the Yuan family's quarrels. In fact, I wish to discuss something with all of you. What should I do with the Imperial Seal? Indeed. You couldn't have found a more troublesome object, my lord. What's so important about the Imperial Seal anyway? You the Great of the Cha Dynasty once crafted great bronze treasures known as the Nine Tripod Cauldrons that served as proof of one's royal mandate. However, generations later they were lost during the Qin Dynasty. So, the Imperial Seal was created as a replacement. In other words, the person who possesses the Imperial Seal is said to have the Mandate of Heaven. In a sense, it is a justification to rule the land. So, if Father owns this Imperial Seal, that means... This is dangerous, Father. If word got out that you have the Imperial Seal, we would be branded as traitors to the Emperor. Who cares, Twen? Father has the Imperial Seal, which means he has the Mandate of Heaven, right? 
So he should be the one to rule the land. That's rather reckless, brother. You're just thinking out loud, right, sir? Hmm. What's the matter with you two? It'd be more dangerous if the seal fell into someone else's hands. Who knows what they'd do with it? You have a point there. It could have been someone like Dong Zhuo. Hmm. Perhaps it is best that I hang on to the seal for now. It is dangerous, but I suppose it is better than many of the alternatives. Very well. Let's put aside talk of this matter for now. Now the war is over. Let us return to Shangsha for some much needed rest. After we get back, I must pay a visit to Master Yuan Shu. The timing of his summons troubles me though, coming right after my talk with Yuan Shao. The tiger's fangs exist to protect its family. They are not for seeking dominance over the land. However, other people may not see it that way. I only hope you and Shu doesn't take advantage of our Lord's kindness. Hey! Get on in here! Come again! I've got some great stuff here! I appreciate your business. Need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. So we meet again. Are you planning to return to Shangsha, Sun Jian? Yes. Thank you for all of your support, Cao Cao. You have my eternal gratitude. No. I should be the one thanking you. By the way, I heard that you turned down Yuan Chao's invitation. I see word travels fast. How do you feel about my decision? I think you made a wise choice. He is in no position to control one such as you. That is somewhat unexpected. I had heard that you and you and Xiao were old friends. It is because we were friends that I say so. I believe a man's ability should be judged on reason, not emotion. I can see that you are destined to be a greater man than you and Xiao will ever be. Sun Jian, the land is about to enter a state of perpetual chaos, the likes of which it has never known. I believe the inevitable clash between Yuan Shu and Yuan Chao will serve as the impetus for that chaos. Despite what I said previously, I have known Yuan Chao for a long time. As such, I will side with him for the time being. I would rather not have to fight you. I understand. I shall keep that in mind. Farewell, Sun Jian. I hope that we can meet again, assuming that we both survive what's to come, of course.
Watch out for you win Chew. What do you mean by that? Huh. You'll find out soon enough. Finally made it. I wonder if Yuan Shu is really here. Should we read anything into the fact that he didn't send anybody out to greet us? I don't think there's anything to worry about. I imagine everybody must be tired. Let us get some rest for now. We can meet with Master Yuan Shu in the morning. Sounds good to me. Did you guys hear something? Who is it? I apologize for calling upon you at this late hour. I shall make this brief. You will be attacked by bandits shortly. I suggest you begin making the necessary preparations for battle. What? What is this all about? There is no time to explain. They'll be here any moment now. You must hurry. Capture Sun Jian alive! The others, you can kill! The Imperial Seal! Take the Imperial Seal! After the Imperial Seal! It matters not. First, we need to eliminate the enemy resistance. Afford to let this position fall to the enemy. It is up to us to defend it with our lives. We are at a disadvantage. No matter. We have overcome much worse than this. Well, finally, a real challenge. The enemy army appears determined to win this battle. Let's go! We'll take control of that location! So, prepare to be punished! What's with these guys? They are too strong! You must be Master Sun Jian, the Tiger of Jian Dong. Are you the one that warned us of the bandit attack? You have my gratitude. I am glad I could be of service to you. Lu Su? It's really you, Lu Su! Ah, Master Zhou Yu. I see you serve the Sun family now. My lord, I know this man. You can trust him implicitly. As he says, I am Lu Su. I currently serve in Master Yuan Shu's army. However, you should know that those bandits you just faced were his own private soldiers. What? Are you trying to tell us that Master Yuan Shu targeted our lord? I believe he was after the Imperial Seal that is in Master Sun Jian's possession. He sent those men to try and steal it. The Imperial Seal? How could he have known about that? Somebody may have seen our lord when he found it. He is up to more than just the ambush. He has also taken Master Sun Jian's wife as a hostage. 
What did you say? No, not our mother. He may be my lord, but I find his actions despicable. I could not look the other way any longer. Hence me coming here to warn you. Curse you, Yuan Shu. You'll pay dearly for this. Yeah, there's no way we're letting him get away with this. He's about to learn what it means to cross the Soon family. Calm down, both of you. If we make one wrong move, you and Shu will likely have your mother killed. You said your name is Lu Su? Once again, I must thank you. Forgive my imposition, but I have another favor to ask. I wish to meet with Master Yuan Shu immediately. Can you help me sneak into his quarters? It will be my pleasure. My lord, it's dangerous to go alone. Please take me with you. Hey, don't go stealing all the glory for yourself now. I'm coming too. You fools. He's trying to sneak behind enemy lines. You'll only serve to get him spotted. I'll be fine on my own. I want everybody to wait for me here. You focus on rescuing Our Lady, my lord. I'll take care of anybody that tries to get in your way. They'll regret ever messing with us. Be honored, for it is I who shall face you. Are there still no reports? All you need to do is capture Sun Jiang, and the Imperial Seal will be mine. How hard can that be? Finally, they're back. Ah! Sun Jian! What are you doing here? It is nice to see you in good health, Master Yuan Shu. I heard that my wife was here with you. I have come here to thank you for looking after her. W wait, please. This is all just a misunderstanding. Oh? What kind of misunderstanding would that be? Ah, uh, this is a party. Yes, that's right, a party. My wife wanted to throw a party, so she invited your wife here as the guest of honor. That is too kind of you. As such, I suppose I should be expecting her home any time now. Uh, yes. Yes, I would expect so. I will make sure she makes it home to you safely. Do you expect me to believe that? <laughs> you and Shu, if you really want the Imperial Seal, I can give it to you. In return, I want my wife back. Know that if you lay one finger on her, I will hunt you down to the far corners of the earth. <laughs> you rely too much on your military prowess. You know that won't be enough for you to make it through this age of war. Let us make a deal, Tiger of Zhongdong. I am about to engage in war against my half-brother, Yuan Chao, of Yi Province. When that happens, I want you to promise you will side with me. After we defeat Yuan Chao, I will give you any rank or privilege you desire. Let us not concern ourselves with minor matters, but join forces and look to the future. Not only do you demand the Imperial Seal and for me to serve you, but you kidnap my wife as well? Just who do you think you are, Yuan Shu? I will soon be the greatest man in this land. And you? Surely you desire the future security of the Soon clan. In that case, you should think carefully about accepting my offer. That is one of the worst deals I have ever heard. However, 
Even I must admit there is some truth behind it. Very well, I shall accept your terms. However, we are through after this. You do not want to mess with my family again. If you do, you will learn what it means to enter the tiger's den. Do you understand me, Master Yuan Shu? I shall serve you, but do not forget what I just said. Hmm. Very well. I will ensure that your wife is sent home to you at once. As for the rest of your deal, I will be in touch soon. Wait a short while. I have given the Imperial Seal to Yuan Shu, as ordered. Are you sure about this, Master Sun Jian? Yes, I have no need for it any longer. If it brings my wife back safely, then I am happy to make that trade. We can always count on you to remain true to yourself, my lord. However, I can't stop thinking about what Yuan Shu is planning to do with the Imperial Seal now that he has it. I'm just glad that mother is home safe. Where is Our Lady now? She is resting in her quarters. She is tough, but such an ordeal would take its toll on anybody. Although, to be able to threaten Yuan Shu into making such a concession, I'm beginning to wonder who held who hostage. <laughs> I always knew you were a great man, Father. You managed to shut up Yuan Shu, despite being vastly outnumbered. No, we got the short end of this deal. We've lost the Imperial Seal, and now we're caught up in the fight against Yuan Shao. Yuan Shu is a cunning man indeed. There is little that can be done about that now. No matter what path we take, we are bound to be entwined in the chaos that shrouds the land. Yuan Shu ordered us to attack Xian Yang. It looks like our battle against Yuan Shao is about to begin. Xian Yang. It is under the control of Yuan Shao's ally, Liu Biao. It seems Yuan Shu wishes us to secure his rear border first. Father, leave this to us. We cannot allow you to do everything by yourself. Well said, Chuan. Of course. I'm going with you too. You don't mind, do you, Father? Don't forget about me. This is for the sake of our entire family. Sir, si. Chuan, Shang Xiang. Very well. Let's get going. Shang Yang awaits. In that case, I should take my leave. I shall pray for good fortune to befall your family. Thanks again, Lu Su. You know, you are welcome to come with me if you like. I am truly honored by your offer. However, I doubt that Yuan Shu is willing to look past my recent transgressions. As such, I think I shall lay low for a while. Until we meet again, my lord. I understand. I shall welcome that day when it comes. I look forward to fighting by your side one day, Lu Su. Yes, indeed. Take care. Master Zhou Yu. Lu Su, hmm? I think I'm starting to like that guy. He is exactly the type of man we need fighting for our cause. Okay, let's get going. It's time to begin our invasion of Xiangyang.
I feel you again! Are you sure about this, Father? Is Yuan Shu really the type of guy we want to be helping? It's like you said, Su. Yuan Shu's army outnumbers us many times over. If we don't attack Shenyang, Yuan Shu will simply attack us instead. So you're saying we have no choice but to obey him? Yes, but we will have a chance if Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao end up going to war. We simply need to bide our time and wait for that opportunity to arise. I remember what you said, Father. You said that one day we'd build a new world of our own. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't remember saying that. Hey, Father! There's no turning back now! Listen, it is my dream to create a land where people can live in peace and harmony. I do not care about ruling a country or the land itself. The Soon family. No, I am a servant of the Han Imperial Court. However, I must also look to protect myself. Do you know what has become of Zheng Dong and the lands of Wu? Wu is your homeland, my lord. I've heard that it has been ravaged due to the effects of war. There are no massive armies like those of Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao there. That has led to countless skirmishes between its warlords allowing bandits to thrive. If I were to quell the chaos there, that would not be seen as turning my back on the Han. That is why I wish to subjugate the warlords and take control of the land of Wu. From there, we can build up our strength in order to oppose the likes of Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao. In other words, we shall create the kingdom of Wu. Yes. I think I like the sound of that. Most impressive, my lord. Yeah, I knew my father was the greatest man alive. However, in order to do so, we must first win this battle that lies before us. We shall create our own future, and we shall do it with our own hands. Fight on, my brave tigers! We shall defeat Liu Biao and display our might to the denizens of Shongyang! damage to Jiang Ling. My strategy will defeat you. Our target has been decided. All units forward! I knew they would come through here! Bows ready! Shoot them full of holes! False info will quickly drive them off. Ah! 
shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. <laughs> Target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Yeah. Our target has been determined. What? The rear guard have betrayed us? Then we have no choice. We must retreat! Mindless beasts, so easy to control. Now is our chance. Attack! Ah, how did it come to this? Retreat is now the only option. That takes care of another one of their officers. Now, forward on to Sean Young. I may be old, but I've still got it. That's great, Wad Guy. This brute's age has nothing to do with ability. to be out there fighting on the front lines too. How am I supposed to get any experience if I don't start somewhere? Huh? It looks like the enemy has occupied that fortress over there. If I can take them out, Father should finally let me go with him. Our progress with the Sea of Arrows. 
We must find a way to neutralize their archers. The enemy will come through here soon. Set up the defenses. Jian's attacking! Someone! Anyone! Stop that crazed tiger at once! Please, unit, assume your positions! Do not let Sun Jian or his men anywhere near Chenyan! enemy's position. Follow my lead! We hold the advantage in this battle. Keep moving! No way! Alright! We've won this battle! a chance to attack! Destroy the enemy! We're almost there! Let's go finish this battle up! Okay. We've arrived at Shan Yong. First, we'll take care of those ostentatious siege weapons over there. Shun Yan, fall to a man like you! Lord Lu Bao, you can escape this way! We can't let them get away! We shall chase them down no matter where they run! They just don't make enemy officers like they used to!
Well, that's too bad. Tiger of Shangdang, you will die here. How can I possibly end here? Like this? Father! Father! No matter what, I cannot appear weak before them. Ride! Sir! Gwen! You must remember! The future of our family is now in your hands! Hey, this must be some kind of big joke, right? Father? Father? I don't believe it. This isn't happening. Father! We need a physician. Somebody send for a physician immediately! Our Lord has already passed. <laughs> My Lord. How did this happen? How could something like this come to pass? Master Sun Jian. Father, open your eyes. No! You can't just leave us like this! Please! Father! Father! What do we do for our next move? There is no we without Master Sun Jian. I suppose we'll be merged in with Yuan Shu's forces. I refuse to let that happen. The only reason I agreed to fight was because of our Lord. I would rather leave and go home than serve under Yuan Shu. I understand how you feel. However, you would just leave Master Sun, sir, Master Sun Chuen, and the princess behind? I... You should be free to decide your own path. However, we must pay our last respects to our Lord before we go. Father. Brother, what do we do now? Sun Tzu, if you do not rise up, Master Sun Jian's dream will end here. Yes, I know that. Of course I know that. There's no time for us to mourn his death. Chuen, Shang Xiang, it's up to us to carry on our father's dream for the land. You're stronger than I could ever be, brother. Come on now. Did you expect anything less from me, Chuen? Brother, are you crying? Of course not. You know me better than that, Shang Xiang. After all, I am the son of the Tiger of Zhang Dong, Sun Jian himself. Tzu. Brother. Sun Tzu. Chuen, Shang Xiang, Zhou Yu, let's go! Together, we shall forge a new kingdom in Jiangdong and realize Father's dream! <laughs> My lord, are you seeing this? Your children have grown into fine young adults! Stop your crying! 
It's unbecoming of a warrior. Let's go, Hoangai. There's something we need to take care of. Sorry, go on ahead without me. I'm not sure if it's my age catching up with me, but I need to clear my eyes. Not you too. You guys cry too easily. You're supposed to be warriors. I guess you greenhorns are just softer now. Master Sun Jian, I shall be honored to carry on the tiger's ambition. <laughs>